this is me and today I have a very epic video for you guys. So before today's video starts, I thought I'd do a little sneak peek of what's coming up. So yes, today's video is bike versus horse because I have been challenged by Equilab to ride 10 miles with Casper. Now I thought with my challenge videos, I like to involve my brother Max, so he's gonna be joining us as well. But before today's video starts, I'd like to say a huge thank you to Equilab for sponsoring today's video. So if I grab out my phone, I'll do a little chat with you guys about it because I've actually been using the app so much with both Joey and Casper. So if I load up the app, we can have a look at my profile. So I have my stable, so you can add horses onto there. So I've got Casper, and I've got Joey. So if we go on to um, what I've been up to recently, we can see. Okay, so the hack that we did the other day, um, it was one hour and 25 minutes. So we were out for quite a while. It's really cool because you can see all of the places where we've cantered, where we've walked, where we've trotted. Um, it also tells us the distance. So the other day we did five miles. Our average speed was 3.5 miles per hour. It was a little bit slower because we did stop to take some photos. Um, you can have a look at how many calories I burned, which is quite cool, how many strides Casper did. Um, it even tells you what the weather was like then. Um, you can rate how hard the ground was, um, how well the horse and the rider performed. Um, so there are lots of different stats that you can look at, which is very cool. So when Max and I go ahead, you can see who's faster as well. We can also see a session where I did some jumping with Casper, which was pretty cool. Um, so you can also add a little photo. It's kind of like a horsey diary because you can look back on rides you've had, you can even add a little photo so I can see exactly what exercise I was doing with Casper on that particular day. So we did some really cool um, jumping. Um, you can also see again how much canter, walk and trot we did. Um, but what's really interesting is you can actually see what rain I worked on most. Um, so I did a little bit more on the left rein with Casper, which is actually his better rein. So after looking at this, I really need to work on the right rein a little bit more. It wasn't too much difference. It was pretty even. Actually, looking at this, I did more trot on the right rein, but more canter on the left. So that's really interesting. You can even go into the detailed stats, looking at their top speed for Casper. That was 10 miles per hour, which is pretty cool. Um, obviously, we're only in the school, so we weren't like proper galloping. You can see their tempo, their transitions, their stride, and their elevation as well. So lots of really technical stuff, which is really interesting to look at. Also, you can use the app to organize your horsey life, such as when the vet needs to next come out or when the farrier next needs to come out, which with Joey, I really have to be on top of because he loses his shoes. If it goes one day over six weeks, then guarantee he'll lose a shoe. So I always need to make sure that he is booked in for the farrier when he is needed. All right, so I need to go and um, tell Max that I've challenged him to a race, a long distance race around 10 miles, I believe. So I hope he's up for it. I think Casper and I are gonna win because we've also, don't tell Max, but I'm gonna be keeping a little eye on him because I'm gonna make sure that he uses Equilab as well, even though he's not a horse. And um, there's actually a really cool feature on here that you can get a friend or a family member to have. So when you go out hacking, they can track where you are, which I think is a really important safety feature, especially um, back a few years ago when I started hacking the horses by myself sometimes, or even if you're older and you hack on by yourself all the time, it's really nice just to make sure that somebody's out there looking out for you. But anyway, so I'm gonna be able to see where Max is in the race and see if I'm ahead of him or if he's ahead of me. So that's gonna be very exciting. But anyway, I'm gonna go and grab him now, see what he thinks. Hi, Max. Hi there. So uh, you know how you're my favorite brother, right? Yeah, I'm your only brother, but yeah, sure, go carry on. Um, so I have been asked to challenge you. So we've got another challenge, but wait, wait, wait. Don't see anything yet. So it's gonna be a challenge that where you're not gonna embarrass yourself, you're not gonna look stupid, and you're actually going to enjoy this one. Okay, so I've been asked to challenge you for a race. You can go on your bike. 
I'm going to be on Casper to the Beacon and back. Are you up for it? Yeah, sure. I mean, I'll thrash you. But, uh, oh. No, I'm going to win. So come on, Max. I'm going to show you the map and oh, everything. Oh, Let's okay. go. Come yeah, fine. All right, so here is the map, and this is our starting point, and we're gonna go all the way up to the beacon. So it's gonna be 10 miles in total as the crow flies. However, we have slightly different routes, because obviously you're gonna be on a bike, yeah. I'm gonna be on a horse, so you're gonna be taking the roads, and I'm gonna be taking the fields, the forest, and also up the hills, so I'm gonna be on the bridle path, basically. Yeah. Um, so your route, unfortunately, is a little bit longer, because you're on the road. Um, so I thought to track everything, it would be really good if we both downloaded the Equilab app. So if you go onto the App Store and check that out, uh -huh. as you can see, it's really easy to download. It's free. There are add-ons, which I'm going to add on for you because I'm a very generous sister. Um, but yeah. And then we can see each yeah. other's top speeds and things. So once you've done that, We'll head outside. I'll get Casper ready. You can get changed into whatever you wear and your bike stuff. Don't really understand that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I'll see you outside see you in, in a, a second. Yeah, see you in a minute. And I'm gonna beat you. Let's go. All right, so you might be wondering, Esme, why did you decide to use Casper for this challenge instead of Joey? Now, Casper is the older horse. He's more experienced. He's He might be smaller. He might be a little bit slower when it comes to their top speed. However, Casper will be quicker down the hills, and that's where we're gonna struggle. Down the hills, Max is gonna be so fast, and Casper's not gonna be as fast. There might be some places where we can walk a little bit faster, and maybe even trot a little bit faster, where it's like a gradual slope compared to Joey, because Joey's the kind of horse where if something's down, going downhill because he's young and still has his baby legs, he'll probably fall on his face. And we're gonna go up some pretty steep hills. Now, Casper loves the hills. He, as soon as he sees a hill in a big open field, he's like, mommy, please, can we gallop? So um, he's going to love today's challenge. This this isn't strictly necessary, is it? I think it is. Faster! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, okay, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the ultimate test of speed and endurance as Team Horse take on Team Bike. A race from the stables to the beacon and back, there can be only one winner. It's all to play for in this latest challenge. Previously, Casper has proved dominant in his challenges, and even though Max might be faster on the road, he has a much longer distance to travel. To the start, who will win, horse or bike? Baez, have fun. You're going to win or something. Okay, viewers. So Esme always finds a way to fix it for her to make her win. But this time it's going to be different because I'm going to win and I'm going to show you how in a minute. a little bit of a breather, a little bit of a rest because we've just done some proper fast galloping. I um, just thought to see where Max is up to and I'm really confused because it says he's stationary, like he's not moving anywhere. I wouldn't think he would have a break because he's pretty competitive so I don't know what's happened with him. Okay guys, I'm not going to be taking this bike. You see the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. So to win, like Casper, I'm going to have to go off road. And that means I can't take this bike. I'm gonna to need to take a mountain bike. And I'm not gonna take any old mountain bike. I'm gonna take an e-bike. 
Okay, let's go chase down Casper and Esme. Alright guys, I am currently in the woods with Casper here. Um, he's actually so up for it today. I think it's because we're somewhere new that he hasn't really been before. So he is just, I want him to hold him back now. He wants to trot the whole way, but I need to give him a little bit of a rest in between. And also the ground is a little bit uneven here, so I don't want him going too fast. I have no idea where Max is. I should probably get out my phone and check where he is. But so far, I'm really happy with Casper and he's really enjoying it. Do you want to say hi? Do you want to say hi? Yep. Oh, oh, okay. We're trotting now. I will see you guys in a bit. So we have just galloped up a hill and Casper's still ready and raring to go. He absolutely loves his hacking. But um, we're having to walk down a hill now and that's the one thing that you have to be a little bit slower is going down the hills because as much as Casper would love to canter down them, that's gonna end with us doing a roly-poly going down. I don't want Casper to trip or fall over. You know, he's still got quite a way left to go. We've got to make it home too. So uh, we're walking down. I thought I would grab out the camera, have a little bit of a chat, but no, he's chilling. He's doing well. We're just going down now and... the halfway point where we've got five minutes to have a quick rest, bit yep. of a snack and everything. Okay. Um, but I've noticed you, you've cheated. You've got your electric bike. It's not cheating. I mean, you didn't say I couldn't. I guess I didn't, but we did still beat you, so I'll let you off. We still have all the way home left to go. Casper, as you can see, is ready and absolutely raring to go. He's, I've been easy on him on the way here. Yeah, He's got a lot you know. of fuel left in the tank to go, but I guess for you, it's pretty much downhill all the way, yeah, isn't it? I've got gravity on my You've side. You've had a mate. lot of uphill on the way here, but you know what? Casper, he's pretty speedy. He's got a lot of energy left. I guess it's all to play yeah, for. Yeah, I've got gravity and you only just beat me, so yep. I think I've got the advantage on the way back. All right then, I guess it's all to play for. I guess it's all see, to play for. See you at the bottom. Let's go.
So Max, welcome to the studio. You took so long that we're having to film in here yeah, because it's right. actually dark outside now. So what happened to your bike? Did it have like a refusal? Did it go lame? What happened? I think they call it mechanical in the business, but oh, you know, okay. puncture. Nice. Actually. Yeah, yeah, good thing Casper can't get a puncture. But um, <laughs> so yeah, I think I think we beat you by quite a bit. Quite yeah, a few but hours. It, it would if 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 I hadn't had that, it would have been really close, or I would have beaten you. To be fair, Honestly. to be fair, we did get to the beacon at quite a similar time, so we might have to have a rematch and yeah, see how it went. I reckon. So do you want to get your app out? Obviously, yeah. we don't want to see how long you were out there for because that was quite a while. But we can have a look at your top speed and things. So what was your top speed? Mine was. 42 miles an Whoa. hour. Whoa, so you must have been going really yeah, fast down, down one of the hills. Downhill from the beacon, there's like a, a steep on the road section yeah. where you can get like. Yeah, I don't think Casper could go that fast down the hills, but his average speed was a lot faster, probably. I well, yeah, if you include because... that I was going zero for. <laughs> True, hours. true. Yeah. I think I was okay. around 19 because I didn't want to push it too much because obviously it was long distance. But that's still right. pretty pretty fast for a little Connemara pony. So yeah. um, anyway, we're definitely going to have to have a rematch and we're definitely going to beat you. But um, anyway, guys, thank you so much, Max, for taking part in today's challenge. Thank you so much, Equilab, for sponsoring today's video. If you'd like to check them out, I'll leave a little link in the description below. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you're new or have not done so already, please like and subscribe. It really does help me out, and I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time. Bye. I'm going to beat you next time. Brother. Edits, <laughs> whatever it's called. BTS. B bloopers. Bloopers, that's the word. <laughs> Smile. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> cute, 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 cute.